Hey, hello, everybody. Happy Woo Woo Hangout Chat. <laughs> Happy Yay. Saturday. So for those that don't know, because I never introduced myself, in case you don't know, since I posted this on Infinite Heart and Soul, um, my name is Kristen Newman with Infinite Heart and Soul, and I'm so happy to have you here. I am recording this so that everyone can watch this in the future as well. I am on my phone because we had a massive thunderstorm this morning and it blew out our internet in the area. Yay! So as agitated as Kristen is right now. I'm happier than I would have been. So I give gratitude to that because I would have been so mad. <laughs> but I'm agitated, but yet positive. So I'm on my cell phone, but I can still see you all, which just is really cool. So I can I can scroll. So I can't see the chat. It like it pops up um quickly and I can't read all of it. So I have to read really, really fast. <laughs> can you see who's so, trying to come on? I can. It actually pops up in the middle of the screen, which is fabulous because then I can just click admit instead of having to go into the thing to admit everybody. So okay. um because I can't figure out how to make you a host, Sherry. <laughs> if you find oh, that's a button, fine. I welcome the button. So <laughs> <laughs> I think you all brought me good luck because this is the first sunshine we've seen in a long time. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, I'd say bring it here, but we really do need the rain. So we I welcome too. the rain. I'm glad we have electricity because normally like the we normally don't lose power or anything here. So it's so crazy. But this also has a lesson in it. So my heart is going nuts right now. I'm so excited. So my what what brought today on is i had heart surgery my fourth one a month ago and um i had i, I missed the human interaction i love doing my lives online and everything but um i wanted to see your faces <laughs> so thank you for being on here so much i appreciate it so um and my husband and daughter are not home today they um my daughter went to work with my husband so he'll be home like later in the afternoon. So it's like, you know what, let's do a hangout. I have like chores and stuff that I really needed to do at home. But who wants to do that? I'd rather talk and see you guys. <laughs> so, okay. We're going to pull some cards. We're going to, I'm going to answer some questions. But um, whenever I do a live, just like with my classes or before sessions, spirit comes through whoever's going to be on with whatever answers um, or, you know, teachings need to come forward. So, you know, when you are, because my question to my guides, and this was my whole lesson with my heart surgery. So like I said, this is my fourth heart surgery that I had on June 6th. And I got big fat yeses that I needed to do this. So I was like, okay, we're going to do this because the hope was just to give a little background. I have electrical, a whole bunch of electrical issues going on with my heart. Plumbing is perfect. Electrical issues. There you go. So I have an electrician, basically a cardiac specialist. So I have tachycardia of the upper and lower chambers. And he's like, I'm not going to mess with that because every time they mess with that and they ablate it, it popped up somewhere else. But I also have PVCs or ventricular contractions or skipped beats or bigeminy, they call them. They got lots of names. And um, he's like, these are very prominent. So I feel like if I can get those, it can give you more quality of life because I can't travel. I do get very sick and it comes and goes. So um, and I've had this now for over 10 years. So I said, okay, and I love my doctor because when um, I've been with him for what I think like seven years now or eight years, and um, I've only been awakened for seven years. And I told him a few months ago, okay, let's talk about surgery because he knew I didn't want to do that. So he was very sweet and he didn't pressure me into anything, which made me just love him even more. So I had the surgery and like, um, you know how your body reacts to certain things. You know your body best. Don't let anybody else ever tell you. Be open to it, but don't let anyone else tell you. Because the way my body works is after my heart surgeries, my heart goes numb for about a week. Numb. It's weird because I feel everything. So to have it be numb, it's like, Nyeh. so he successfully ablated those PVCs. 
um, even kept me in surgery longer and pumped adrenaline in me to make sure they were gone. So he was so excited. So when he went out into the lobby and he was telling my family, hi, mom, my mom was there. This is my mommy. Hi, mom. So um, my husband said, all right, we'll see because she's fine for about a week. And then whatever happens is that's when it happens. So Dr. Gerchuk was like, okay. He goes, your husband kind of shot me down. <laughs> he goes, but I, he was at least very honest. And this is something you've said before. So they're back. My PVCs are back. They moved into a different area and they have a new tell, which can be very scary. Um, I actually had a really bad one when I went to the office on Monday and he captured it. And I heard him outside the door, you know, when they come up to the door and you know that they're pulling your file and looking at it. Um, he goes, they're back. These are PVCs, they're back. And he came in and just the look on his face, I felt in him how he so wants to help. But the biggest thing that meant so much to me was the fact that he said, I'm not giving up on you. We're in this together. And that meant a lot because I did have a doc, you know, doctors that are like, All right, we don't know what to do with you. So, okay. But um, so I still have, if you're seeing red, I'm very allergic to the nodes and the goop they put on. So I'm very much inflamed from those suckers and it'll take another few weeks before they go away. So I wasn't mauled by an octopus. But <laughs> it's from those. So through that lesson, I, I had to grieve. I had to grieve because this was the first time my husband and I were talking about, okay, maybe I can travel. Where should we go? And Ray's like, um, it is 11-11 here right now, just to let you know too. So that energy, yay. Um, so I said, okay, I want to go to Key West in Florida. And then where do you want to go outside of Florida in the States and then outside of the U S so I was dreaming big because I got all of these signs from my guides, but it was what I was expecting to come from it. So in life and on your spiritual journey, I did a live about this, um, release any and all expectations because we can force how we want things to be. We can force how we want our kids to do and be, how we want our life to do and be, how we want, I'm gonna get this job and this is gonna happen and everything's gonna fall into line. If we release any and all expectations, we allow the universe to bring forward more opportunities, more abundance, more prosperity, more joy above and beyond what we could ever have fathomed it before. Don't ask me to repeat it because that was not me. <laughs> So I had to release any and all expectations. I had to have the emotions, energy in motion, emotions. I had to have the emotions and cry my ever loving guts out <laughs> to grieve the fact that I thought I was gonna be better, to grieve the fact that I thought I was gonna travel. And I could have been in my pity party. And you know what? I'm human and I have every right to be in that pity party. So never judge yourself and say, oh, I should have been out of it. I should know better because I'm spiritual. I should know it that I'm spiritual too, but I still curse. I should know it because I'm spiritual too, but I still get, you know, all those different things. So never, ever judge yourself because we never, you know, we talk about, oh, you know, no judgment of others, but it goes to yourself too, not judging yourself as well. So... I had to release any and all of those expectations. And what happened was, was this is a wake up call. It was twofold. It was a lesson for my doctor and whoever else I was interacting with to know that even though he's amazing at what he does, he actually said, I'm a unicorn. I'm a unicorn. You go in and you ablate these areas and it's better. It can cause more arrhythmia issues and all of that. That's one of the risks in doing surgery. There's risks in doing surgery. And this was my fourth one, but I was told by spirit a long time ago, um, my higher self, Azra, who is a seraphim, had come to me and said, you took your heart, your spiritual heart with you. And I never really shared that because people would have thought I was, you know, my cheese slid off my cracker. But you know what? This is my life. This is my reality and this is my truth and I'm gonna share it. And if you vibe with it, wonderful. And if you don't, move along and I wish you well. So I, my heart is a different frequency. 
and I brought it here, which is why it is a disability and it seems wrong. A disability is just an ability to do more. A disability is the ability for you to do more. Look at all of these amazing souls who, there's someone that I watched on YouTube and she had no arms, only legs and feet. And she puts her makeup on with these feet. She does her eyeliner, but I can't even do eyeliner. I look like a Picasso. I've tried doing the little eye flick. I cannot do it. If you can help me, reach out. But um, it, it's just the ability. You adapt and you flow with it. So mental illnesses, all of that, you flow with it. What is it teaching you? What is your body asking you to know and learn? I am here to help people with unseen illnesses, disabilities that we call it here, to bring more awareness, because I have a placard on my car. Um, so, and when I get out of my car, I might look totally fine and people can totally judge. But I get very sick. I can have a heart attack stroke. It feels like I'm having a heart attack when I'm having symptoms, a lot of digestive in issues, vomiting, all that kind of stuff. Sorry if you're eating, but um, all those kind of things. So never judge a book by its cover. Everyone's going through something, right? So give them some grace. Don't think the worst, think the best of people. And I'm here to spread that as well. Think the best of people. Because you know how you say, of course, that just typical, right? So think the best of people instead of the worst and give that grace there. So this was a lesson and it was a wake up call because what I've been doing is hiding. I was told that I was supposed to be out there more. I've had mentors share this with me. You're supposed to be out there. You're supposed to be on social media and stuff like that. Okay, okay, okay. So I, okay, I'm doing classes now and I have my sessions, but I started hiding behind that. I've even been doing lives only on my personal page and my student portal and not on infinite heart and soul not posting on YouTube. Because if you looked on there, I had nothing for a while and it would be very sporadic. So this was a wake up call for me because I wasn't doing what I was set out to do. So I was like, okay. So I had to come to terms with all that. I have TikToks that were out there as well um, that I had posted because it's easier what what I tend to do is I will record a video and delete it and record a video and delete it. And I was exhausted with it. So if I do lives, I can like, I almost clicked off on a live and then people were popping on. And my friend Kirsten was actually, she actually said, please don't go off. Cause I said, okay, I think I'm going to go off. Cause I'm like freaking out. She goes, please don't, please don't go off the live. And I stayed on for like an hour and a half. So Thank you to friends out there that encouraged because I was having a spaz attack and was going to totally turn that off. So also, when you are living your divine purpose, stuff hits the fan and it gives you, the universe gives you tests and lessons within that to make your ego think that maybe I'm not supposed to be doing this. Because I did an interview this past week on, um, I was chatting with a friend, she invited her podcast. And um, so I did the interview and the next day um, she messaged me, she goes, Kristen, are you able to do it again? I, the file is corrupted and I, I, I don't know what happened. I'm so bummed, it was a fabulous interview. So I said, absolutely, I can do another one. So after I emailed her, I said, guides, I asked for your help in, in fixing that corrupted file. However that happens, I trusted and I let it go. I didn't dwell on it or anything. She messaged me this morning and said, I got it to work. We don't need to reschedule. It's all good. Um, oh, Lisa, that's my sister, Lisa. Hi, Lee. Um, yes, it sucks um, because she said, you know, it's just sad that you have to suffer. Um, we all go through pain in our own ways. And it's very difficult because a week ago today, I had anxiety this morning because a week ago today, I got up at 3 a.m. It always happens between 
1 and 7 a.m. I get very, very sick. Um, horrible fatigue, um, dizziness, vomiting, digestive issues. And it's like constant for a few hours. And then it totally zaps my energy where just to speak is an effort. Like I can only get a few words out. And um, the episodes that I go through throughout the day, you rock. If I didn't have that, I wouldn't feel the gratitude in this now moment that I'm good. We live in duality, good, bad, right, wrong, grief, joy. And you wouldn't be able to understand the profoundness of one without the other. Not that trauma and things that happen are right. It's things that we agreed upon in coming here. I agreed. And when I go back, I might smack my higher self. <laughs> what bam? You know that meme where Robin smacks Batman or Batman? No, Batman smacks Robin. I always see that in my head. <laughs> but I'm going to have a little word with Azra and be like, what were we thinking? If I say I'm doing this again, tell me no. Just teasing. But I agreed upon this. So I am happier now than before this heart stuff because I know gratitude. So even though I'm having palpitations right now, even though I might be short of breath a bit, I'm not Lisa. <laughs> um, so I'm not, I'm just so grateful that I'm not sick right now in this moment, that it's better than it could be, right? So that is my lesson in all of this. And I share that. I use an ice pack um, when I get super sick because people are like, why, if you have heart problems, put an ice pack on you? Because it helps cool me down. Because you know, when you feel really, really sick and you get overheated, the ice pack does help that aspect. I do turn on my energy healing um, modalities. Um, and sometimes it really does help. I've actually felt my blood pressure because my blood pressure can go really high and really low and I can't take medications for it. Um, I've tried either it makes me sick or it doesn't work. So um, I felt, and it's the weirdest thing to feel everything adjust because I've had that happen before. Um, but sometimes it helps me sleep. Sometimes it just takes the edge off which is a blessing. Um, and sometimes I just feel loved. I'm going through it, but it, I feel loved. So, um, and I always tease them. It's great that I feel loved, but if you can make me stop puking, that would be wonderful. <laughs> so you try and, you know, poke fun where you can and be silly and all of that. My husband is always the jokester because he's always trying to lighten the mood. And I appreciate that. So, the universe will give you tests on your specific purpose. So when I was talking about my friend that wanted me on her podcast and all of that, and I had talked to my guides and everything, she was able to find, she goes, I got the corrupted file to, to work and it's that. online and it's awesome. So that was one test. Cause it's like, am I supposed to really be on these things? If you want me to be out there, the file is corrupted, you know, but I trust, I trust. And I ask the guides for help. And that's exactly what they did. Then this morning, I'm in Florida. We have thunderstorms. They're always crazy. But I, we rarely lose electricity in the internet. And if we do, it's quick. It's off, it's on, and there you go. Um, I had poor Lola was in her pink stylish thunder jacket this morning. And I'm like, it's okay, Lola, it's okay. And then wa-boom. And I felt it through me. She was shaking. Internet went down and got a message from Spectrum Internet that it'll be down until 11 a.m. And then just got another one saying, it'll be down until 1230. It's taking longer than expected. And it was like, well, thank goodness for my phone. <laughs> so that was the test. Should I really be doing this? And then something happens to prevent, to seemingly prevent you. Let me give you another example of this because this is law of attraction as well in there. My husband owns his own business. And when he started his business over four years ago, I can't believe it's been over four years ago now. Um, 
he says, I don't know what I'm going to do. I need to have this kind of insurance to get into these certain subdivisions because he's in construction. But you need the money to be able to um, buy the insurance to do it. And I said, Raymond, I trust everything's going to work out best case scenario. This is what you're meant to do. And it is all going to fall into place. I'm telling you within 24 hours, one of the companies that he um, does work for, he was having a conversation with one of the guys and he goes, use us, we'll umbrella you until you can afford your insurance. And within three months, that's all he needed. Within three months, he was able to do his own insurance. But how amazing was that? Sometimes it takes longer than 24 hours, but trust the process. When you know that it's your divine path and your ego, because remember where there's these two beings, our ego, Kristen's ego, <laughs> my ego um, will always try and always wants to be more negative. She is more positive now because to me, it's not an ego death. It's an ego integration. We're integrating the ego with our spirit. That's how it is for me. So. I'm I'm taking the the ego from the dark side and bringing it to to the light side. <laughs> so that was a big huge thing. So just to let you know how the universe can test you. So when you are trucking along and like oh this is my divine purpose and something slaps you in the head and you feel like you fall flat on your face or you're behind, I promise you trust everything's going to work out best case scenario. I feel it in my heart, not your head. Feel in your heart, which is the spiritual brain. Our connection to the other side is right here. When this tells you I should be doing this, but it's not logical, right? I should be doing this. And when you're like, okay, let's do this. And then something happens. You hit a roadblock. Well, we didn't come here to have everything be easy. Did we? It'd be nice. <laughs> but allow the universe to bring those lessons to you. Don't think of a test as good and bad and you failed it. There's no failing. There's only learning. You're going through, okay, there's more. I had more lessons I had to go through. Yeah, if it were easy, everyone would do it. <laughs> so true, Trista. So Trust the process and flow with it. Because like I said, I have gratitude this morning because old Kristen would have been angry <laughs> that the internet went down and I couldn't do what I'm comfortable doing is Zoom on my computer. So I trust because I asked spirit, do I do a Zoom woo-woo hangout today? And I got a big fat yes. And I get a big fat yes that I'm supposed to be out there more. It's just my ego saying, no one cares. I'm not smart enough. I'm not good enough. All these different things. But I trust my higher self. I trust my guidance. And that came with time. I, tr I promise you, I promise you, as you are on this journey, because everyone thinks that the spiritual journey is like, I'm awakened, rainbows, butterflies, and unicorns everywhere. Oprah effect. No, <laughs> I've talked about this before. It's like, Yay! oh my God, I want to die. Yay! Oh my God, this is the worst. That's the spiritual journey. Lather, rinse, repeat. <laughs> that is exactly how it is, is like this. But when you're doing this, um, Notice how when lessons come back to you, you're not just going in a circle, you're going up. It's like a tornado. You're rising in frequency, even though the lessons come back, how are you learning from it? Because I had a lot of lessons come back because this heart surgery was another awakening for me. You can have a wabam awakening, which is what I had. My husband is having a slow drip, a slow IV drip of an awakening is what I call it for him. Because he fights it. <laughs> he fights it because he woke up today, Saturday, yesterday, I think it was yesterday morning. He goes, I woke up, he woke up with psychic smells. He smelt um, a dish that someone used to make. And he goes, and I can't, don't even ask me what it is. I can't remember now. 
um, he goes, but I woke up going, oh my gosh, who, that the, like the best memory and the best feeling with that dish and that smell. And he's seeing the ones everywhere. He goes, cause he's really good at math. So he, he can like, look at something. He goes, that adds up to 11. And he looks over, he goes, Kristen, the dishwasher saying one eleven right now until the cycle is done. And like all these different things. And, um, and I said that they're really trying to wake you up. <laughs> they're really trying and he'll feel energy and there's things that that will happen he's seen our cat that has passed a long time ago and he's like i need to regroup myself i need to <laughs> I, I need to you know process what i just saw so it, it's really it's really amazing to witness but i have to allow it because i said how cool would it be if you were awakened and we could be woo woo together like he listens to me and he's on board with me but some things i can't share because he's not in the mindset to receive it and i'm like i need to tell people so i need my woo woo friends but it is what it is and i trust so however that pans out in my husband's story in this realm is how it pans out but fingers crossed that he has an awakening and like that would be really fun. <laughs> and I don't think I would need oxygen because I don't think I'd stop talking <laughs> because I actually go to him in the morning and I will say to him, I have a lot of words. Are you ready? Because <laughs> I'll have an experience I want to share or something. And he's like, let me go to the bathroom first <laughs> or, you know, like that kind of thing. And he's like, all right, hit me with it. And then it's like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and he goes, those, those were a lot of words in a very short amount of time. <laughs> I said, I warned you, I come with a warning. So, um, cause before I would just hit him with it. And now I actually will say, I come with a warning. Do I proceed or do I wait on that? <laughs> so the next thing that the guides wanted me to talk about is finding your joy. Because what came from the surgery is me. But the true me in, I feel more, I say this, <laughs> I'm laughing to myself because I'm in my head, it's like, I feel more calm yet I'm spazzy. Knowing me, I'm like, ah! but I do feel more calm. I feel more in me and I feel more comfortable in me. And I don't care what other people think because Let's see. Oh, I'm back. Okay. I don't know if I, if I froze or not, but I'm back. We're good. <laughs> so in order to find my tribe and to be able to be out there to help people, I have to be the true me. I'm not here to be anybody else. I'm here to be me, but from here. And this me is very childlike and, and fun and silly and goofy and emotional. And I always used to try and stifle that because it's like, I'm 44 years old, I need to be an adult. And I guess an adult in my head is being stuffy. <laughs> I don't know why, but be the child. If you had a traumatic childhood, be the child or have the childhood that you didn't have go on the swings, jump rope, have the ice cream before dinner and live it up. So there are, here they come, Trista, the circle children. There are, I found that um, Krista and I share um, these guides and um, I started talking about it in class and she's like, oh my gosh. And we have this bond over um, these circle children that came forward. And I was so happy to hear somebody else experiencing these beings because they came forward and all I heard was they're the circle children. I'm like, well, what is that? You know, it took a year before I actually understood it because I, they, they kind of come forward and then I had lessons to learn and vibrations to raise in order to fully receive the download. So, you know how mother Mary is known as being the, the, um, the healer, um, the wounded healer of the inner child. 
she comes forward a lot of times um, with the symbol of the rose, um, but Mother Mary is very much um, heals the inner child. The circle children are the highest vibration of your child, of your inner child. They are pure joy, squirrel. <laughs> pure joy. Yes, they're the squirrels, Lisa. Um, pure joy, pure fun, pure unconditional love. Those are the circle children. So I bring them in when I feel I'm getting too stuffy. <laughs> it is okay that I have dust bunnies on my floor and I need to vacuum, but I want to do a woo-woo hangout chat. But my ego, ADHD, clean part of me is a little twitchy. <laughs> the twitchiness has lessened, but it's gotten better. Okay. The other thing that they're wanting me to say, whoever this is for, um, remember music is frequency. So when I started to get really upset this morning because I had new internet and I couldn't use my computer, which is how I'm comfortable using it, I turned on the music and just lifted my spirits. Remember, we are very powerful, and I hope I say this in a way that it makes sense. You know when you hear a song and it can trigger those positive emotions and memories? It can even be a happy song, but it can bring you sad emotions because of something that has happened. That's how powerful our frequency is. Because when we hear something, we link and put a frequency on that. So, I wanted to, I was all excited because I had gotten a microphone. I just had an energy shift. I don't know if you guys felt that. Dusty just came to mind, my friend Dusty. She's not on right now, but um, he just came to mind, Dusty. So I have a microphone that I was going to use and everything, and I wanted to play a song. And if you haven't listened to it, I'm not a reggae person, but... I was at, my husband and I go to um, this restaurant now called Bubba's and they have um, all the TVs going, but they, they play a lot of really awesome music. They had Ray Charles on, um, all, I mean, really good music. And um, we took our daughter there because she is, um, wants to be in music education. She's going into her senior year in college. So, wow. Let's say the senior year in college, Emily. Wow. So, um, Maroon 5 remade, is it Bob Marley that sings Every Little Thing's Gonna Be All Right? It's called Three Birds. So look up Maroon 5, Three Birds. I absolutely love it. And I played it like three times in a row this morning. <laughs> so, um, it, it really just got me going so I was getting my reggae on but I love Maroon 5 as well so I was so happy when to, they removed it <laughs> I have to tell you this um so a really good friend of mine which I need to talk to you about later we need to talk um but um he um so James Valentine the guitar player for Maroon 5 is from Lincoln Nebraska and um, he and my son have become really good friends because through my friend, because they both make guitars. So he's helping Alex learn how to um, make guitars. So, oh my gosh, oh, how cool I is know. that? Well, I love them. <laughs> I went yeah. to one Maroon 5 concert on the grounds at, the Hard Rock, by the Hard Rock. I can't even think of the name of the place. It's by well, me. But I it was many years like, ago. But I can definitely get you like to see them and backstage pat all the things. Oh so, my God, that would be amazing. Yeah. If I can go, that's yeah. the kicker is it's hard for me to get places, especially stay. But yes, I went to one and it was awesome. There you go. Manifest it and then yep. let me know and John can get you all hooked up. <laughs> oh my God. I love it. And him, Andy Grammer, I love as well. I love so many different people, but Maroon yeah. 5, I love. So thank you for that. That's awesome. You're welcome. Small world, right? It so, is. okay. I think I want to pull some cards. Let's pull some cards. Let's figure out. I want to ask the guys how they want me to do this. 
they're also wanting me, I always have stones around me. Um, today is brought to you by the dragons because I have a lot of, I like angry girl music. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> So um, I have a lot of my dragons that are here because I've been seeing them in meditation and they look very dinosaur-esque. So they're very much the um, elemental dragons. So um, here we go. So they've been very forward. Yesterday was also the 777 portal and also um, Sirius is conjunct the sun. So that was a big, it's a big up leveling. So we're feeling, you feel the after effects, just like um, the, the full moons, you feel it before and after as well, just because the energy is so intense. Sometimes you feel it more than others. Other times it's like, oh, I really don't feel it this time. But other times, depending on what other um, astrological events are occurring at that time, you can, you know, on your path, you can really feel that. I'm really feeling these because I had such an another awakening with this surgery. So I'm really feeling it. And then the eight, eight Lion Gate portal is also next month. Um, and then Kitty, my friend Kitty, I love you, Kitty. Um, she messaged me this morning saying the 18th, and I forgot the energies that you said. <laughs> but the 18th has important energies coming forward, something with Aries. So, um, Get ready for that spark to catapult yourself uh, further as well. So, okay, I have a fuzz on my nose. <laughs> I've got four animals, so there's bound to be a fuzz somewhere. Usually it's in my eye, so. <laughs> okay, how's everyone doing? You feeling good? Good, good, good. Okay, all right. So let me ask them real quick. Let me sit for a moment. I can't even describe what I just saw. Because when I sit for a moment, the guides come forward, but to see all of your guides come forward and people that are even in the future that are not on this, that are gonna be watching the replay, those guides are forward too. So um, that was really interesting to see and witness. <clears throat> and they're doing something to my throat. <clears throat> so I feel like, all right. Okay, so I'm being told I'm gonna to be doing light language too because I just did something to my throat. Um, especially because because I was gonna, I wanted to do a live yesterday with the energy portal, but um, <clears throat> my heart was having its own moment. So <laughs> yesterday was a rest day. So, <clears throat> and I watched Avatar yesterday too, the new one, The Way of the Water, highly recommend. It was very spiritual. You have to be emotionally ready to receive that movie. Let's just put it that way. Be emotionally ready to receive that movie. And the graphics are just gorgeous. So. Jordana, you want a card pull? Can you hear me? You want a card pull? Okay. And don't put, um, Sherry, I might, ask if you wouldn't mind um, if there's questions in the chat if you can read the questions to me after I pull some cards for Jordana um, so if you have questions put them in the chat so um, and I will answer what I can and we'll just flow with it and see how they want me to do this because <clears throat> we're just on to hang out and have fun and answer questions and have community right <clears throat> thank you Sherry <clears throat> and now I'm going to start coughing a lot because they want me to do um, a frequency. So I'll do that towards the end, more like a meditation and energy, and we'll talk about that, um, light language. Okay, so let me sit for a moment. That Lisa one. said... Um... She wanted me to read this to you. She said, I'm taking advantage of this session since I am still waiting on my reading. No worries, hey, though. Lisa is my sister. Lisa, can you see me right now? Lisa, can you see me? So, do you know, 
Friends. Mm -hmm. Ross in Friends, instead of like giving the finger or something, he goes like this and him and Monica go like that. That's this in my family. So Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so these are my, I call these my humaning cards, but this is my angel deck just to show you. I like showing the card deck because if you want to play with cards and one lights you up and you feel a resonance with them, because that's how Sherry has enchanted card reading, I highly recommend going on her page um, because she'll share so many different things. There are lives that are on there, people that will do readings, just cool stuff. So um it's a good way to give yourself guidance. So, and it is an art form to be able to give yourself guidance because we can be in fear and all that kind of stuff. So, um, hey, let me sit. Who, oh, Jordana, your dad? Okay, there's a bird outside that just tweeted. And it's five times, and that's change. Okay. Oh, and this one popped out. So there's tweet, 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 tweet. Yep. <laughs> they like the split second I called in guides and I said, Your dad is here. I can hear tweet, 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 tweet. I wish you could hear this right now because they were not doing that before. And that song I was listening to was for you this morning. Three Little Birds, Maroon 5. Three Little Birds Sitting on My Doorstep. Good song. Okay. And Follow the Rainbows. Did I say that to you before? Follow the Rainbows. That's my dad making me laugh. <laughs> Um, and something about because pistachios. I cry. <laughs> now, I got this before and I didn't say it to you in your message, but I got something about pistachios. I don't know what that is, and I'm just going to leave it there. But I keep getting a yes, and they wanted me to share it again because I forgot, and then it just came back. So it's important. And there's something with the ears. There's something that you need to hear. Yeah, there is a lot. Okay. Okay. I didn't even read cards yet and you're crying. <laughs> <laughs> we'll release early. It's okay. Oh, all right. This one. I feel like there's one more. <laughs> They're saying it's been a while. So we're going to have a couple of cards. So this is how I do a card reading, honestly. Normally I'm like, let's pull cards, let's pull cards and do quick, quick, quick. I am not a quick person. <laughs> Let, let me just do, let me do my thing on my woo-woo chats. <laughs> so let's pull one more card. There's something, there's something else. I see like a leather moto jacket. Leather moto jacket and boots. Time to ride. You see um, wings, but it's like, not like pretty angel wings. It looks like, like a skull would be in the center. You know what I mean? Like, do you yeah. understand that? Okay. Yeah. So guys, don't judge yourself. When you're receiving messages and signs from spirit, it's not meant for you to understand. And honestly, sometimes it's not meant for the person to understand at that time. You give what you get and you leave it at that. And sometimes it doesn't come forward until afterwards. So I could have totally been like, I'm not telling her pistachios. I don't understand what that means. But it came back again. And I trust it because I thought of it before when I was messaging Dordana earlier privately. And um, it just came up again. And a sea turtle. Oh. And there's more cards that just fell out. Okay. So, okay, these are all the cards. Yes, thank you. Did I put any back? No. Sea turtle. All right. Okay. 
So now let me just look at the cards because there's several here. <laughs> I'm going to pull one card for each person. Yeah, because that's totally my style. For those that know me, yeah, that is not my jam. Let me do my thing. Don't rush me. All right. This one, yes. Um, okay. <laughs> this one's you, Jordana. Okay. <laughs> All right, so this one is five of air, five, 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 one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Those are the numbers that they're showing me that they're going to give you signs for. So five, five, five is positive change. You may not feel like it in the moment, but positive change. It's coming. Crap needs to hit the fan in order for things to fall in their optimum way that you want it to fall. These are things that you've been planting seeds for a long time for. And then we get all upset because it's like, well, why is all of this happening? And it feels like the rug has been pulled out from under us. So trust that. One, two, three, four, one yeah. step at a time. Three, two, one, three, two, one, blast off. Here you go. That type of frequency leap and jump. So this is five of air. An unwise choice. Learn what you can from the situation and review everyone's motives. Don't worry about the unwise choice. Life is full of choices. Just trust your gut, not what your ego wants you to think. Trust your gut. So those are the unwise choices that it feels like. It feels more like a, um, a tug of war between ego and your spirit. So I'm going to leave it at yes. that and not dwell on it. So moving on to the next card, 11. Archangel Ariel, strength. Because your dad keeps saying stronger than you know. But he says, but yet you know it, but you deny it. Strength, 11, 11, 11, 1, 11. So the ones feel like they're going to be coming back if they haven't already um, because there's that big doorway opening up. That's what it feels like. You're going through this doorway. You're charging through it. So don't feel like it's a huge mountain and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't get up there. You don't need to go up and over the mountain. You go through it and it just disintegrates. So great inner strength. Release harsh, harsh judgments. Forgiveness and compassion. Forgiveness of others to meet them where they are at at that mental moment. Because the state that they're in with their lives, we have to meet them where they're at and give them grace. And it's also release judgments on yourself. I should have done this. I could have done that. If I would have done this, now you're going to beat yourself up over it because you didn't. Give yourself grace for the moment and the lessons that you've learned through it because you have that strength and you have that strength to go through and come out more amazing on the other side. And your dad says, like you always do. Your mom is <laughs> forward and she goes, you've always taken lemons and made them lemonade. That's what she's saying. You've always taken lemons and made them lemonade. Um, so take, remember that gift you have because you see the best in people and see the best in yourself too. So I'm going to move on from this one. This one is 10 of fire, which I absolutely love this dragon because it's every spectrum of color. It's beautiful. So 10 of fire. This is the one I laughed at for you. Too much work. <laughs> Accept help from others. <laughs> Life is out of balance and stress-related health concerns. So again, I've had people that are afraid to have sessions with me or just to be open to, to hearing all of this stuff because they fear, oh, what is she going to say or what's coming through? The guides have a way of acknowledging the the scary things in life and saying this is what it is and then these are the tools you can use to live your best life so all they're saying is too much work 
life is out of balance. That can sound scary, right? Oh my God, life is out of balance. No, it just means reset and recharge. <laughs> is it a bath? Is it that yummy coffee that you enjoy that you can just sit and meditate in that moment and just, you know, sip that coffee and be present with all of your senses in that moment? Is it talking with a friend? I love you, Jordana. Um, and <laughs> feeling like you're heard and feeling release and feeling that happy. So it's just staying shift. It's time to ground and it's time to get into your being and into your body and do things that bring you joy. And it seems, it seems counterproductive. I know you know this, Jordana, but for others, it seems counterproductive. Like I need to figure this out, but you can't see the forest through the trees when you're looking for your sunglasses and they're always on your head, but you're screaming and crying because I can't find my sunglasses and I'm late and I got to go. They're always on your head. You can't see the forest through the trees because you're forcing, forcing, forcing. When you redirect and you raise your vibration and whatever that looks like for you, that brings you joy. It allows you to have the epiphanies the light bulb moments, the downloads to come through. And then you're like, oh, I <laughs> get it. That was easy. So yeah. life is out of balance. <laughs> and then any kind of stress-related health concerns, because um, this is, feels like your dad taking care of you. Make sure you take care of you so your body doesn't stress out so you don't start feeling that. Because he's talking about inflammation and flarings. So whatever that I means for it. you. Okay. So allow that, you know, when, and when you get stressed and stuff is rolling around in your head, makes sense. So um, allow yourself to reset and recharge and however way it looks like to you and however you can fit that in for you. We all have five minutes. We all have 10 minutes a couple of times a day. Go to the breath and remember the breath. So breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your mouth for everybody. So you breathe in the light and when you breathe out, <sighs> release it all out, but do a sigh. And that is your indication to let your being know, all of your energy, energy bodies to know you're breathing in light and you're breathing anything heavy out. So you breathe in the light, hold for three seconds, and then breathe out everything else. And notice how you feel before and after you do that. And then you can say, how many times do I need to do these breaths? Usually only three or five times. So the next card is seven of water. So water is also emotions. So feel those emotions. Remember energy and motion, those are tools. What is it bringing up in you? Because it feels like whatever's going on, it's bringing other things up from past stuff too, is what it feels like. So it's like everything all at once. So a complex decision. The need to do research and stop procrastinating. Basically, you just want you to trust yourself. Trust, trust, trust yourself. Trust the process and trust yourself, even though it may not look like it. <laughs> They're saying trust yourself. And what um, what I'm getting out of this card, too, is I see Orion's belt. So I see you very connected with Orion um, and beings from there as well. So I don't know if that makes sense to you, but that's what this card looks like to me for you right now. <laughs> that's beautiful thank you um you are welcome i have two more cards for you because that is my that's my that's my <laughs> jam so this one is seven of earth and i know this card well seeds well planted a temporary pause in action unnecessary worry they're saying if you get back to the the problem it's not, we make it so much more than what it is. And it's like, it's not just about us. It's also about the other ones that are in it as well. And then this one, number three is the Empress. So three, 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 very ascended master feeling to me. Um, lavish abundance, give birth to your dreams and nurture yourself. Okay. There you yeah, go. That, that's your card. That, <laughs> that all makes perfect sense. And um, oh my gosh, I can't wait to explain it to you later. So it it makes perfect sense. So blessings and thank you so much. <laughs> you I needed are that welcome. today. Today <laughs> is Alex's birthday. Sorry. And 
he's not talking to me. So <laughs> we're at an impasse. So letting it go. Letting it go. Good, Jordana. Sherry, yeah. Um, Cheryl Durek would like anything you have to give. And, and I would also request, I could really use a reading today. So if sure. you have time. But Hi, Cheryl Durek Cheryl. is requesting one. <laughs> Okay. Cheryl, are you requesting more life circumstances? I feel a yes with that. So I'm going to go ahead and um, again, you yes. say as little or okay. Thank you, Cheryl. So um, I'm going to use the same deck because I'm getting a yes on using the same card deck. <laughs> All right, so I have to give myself a moment to end one energy connection and open the other one. And then you see me move because I get the chills. Just to give me that connection. I am itchy at my third eye when I'm in your energy, Cheryl. So I'm asking if that's all I needed to say on that as I pull cards or if there's something else to come from that. So don't give me anything yet. If it makes sense, just go ahead and say so. But um, I got itchy at the third eye. So we'll see what else is said if they want to say anything. So what does y'all need to know at this time? I don't know if this is a word you say. It is not one that I say, but I hear serendipitous. <laughs> That is not a word I would say, but I heard serendipitous. She said, yes, I say that. Oh, okay. All right. So just, again, I asked for validating evidence, things I have no way of knowing. So your words or maybe songs or whatever it is, is just validation that I'm in your energy. Woo, we got a jumper, let me get it. And I feel my energy, they're telling me three, three cards, three, 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 three. One more. This one, <laughs> I could feel it sticking out. Okay, so let me just sit for just a moment. She said three is her number. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> I feel a lot in my head right now. They made me feel dizzy all of a sudden. They did give me that itch at the third eye. It feels like a lot wants to come open. You see so much. Okay. All right, what was my question? It's saying yes, and I forgot what the question was that I asked. Hold on. <laughs> I had gotten an ache in the chest. So they remind me of that. I got an ache in my chest and then they keep bringing me to my head, my head, my head. Um, okay. My tongue feels funny. It feels like when your tongue is really, really dry, like when you have peanut butter and you're like, that's what it feels like right now. I'm gonna leave it at that. If they have more to say to that, then we'll let it go. Okay. Okay, I want to pull one more card. Well, I pulled three because they kept going three, 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 three. And it's because they wanted me to say that number because it's your number. <laughs> so let me pull one more card. She said she's waiting for more to come through on the validation dot, dot, dot. Okay. Hold on. Hmm. 
there's something from this. Okay. Hmm. Okay. It's funny because what happened was is I dropped a few cards on the floor and then I'm going, well, what one do I need to pick up on a new one that I just picked up? And then they wanted me to shuffle that little bit of the deck. And that's what I did <laughs> because I always get, this is how I read cards. They talk about what it is that you're going through and then they help with the tools to be able to guide you. And then this is what the outcome can be. That's how I read. Um, and that's just through practice is how I know that. So, and I'm very, I have to share this. I'm very proud of myself because normally it's like, oh my God, reading cards for other people in front of people. And I'm like not affected by it because I trust that whatever comes through is what you're meant to hear at that moment. So always release any and all expectations. So this one is seven of air from the angel deck. I love this card. So pretty. Seven of air. Plans that need revision, more going on that meets the eye. Um, they're saying poor timing of something, and I get a yes. So I just want to show you all, show my no, and then show my yes. And you always want to make sure I'm not swinging my hand. That's why I like to show it, and I just put my hand underneath for extra energy. Um, so more going on than meets the eye. Poor timing. Again, this is live on a recording that I'm going to repost. So I'm going to just keep things simple because your business is yours alone and I don't need to know everything and neither does everybody else. <laughs> so more going on that's, that meets the eye. There's poor timing with something. There's something else that needs to be mulled over and, um, and thought about, but thought about from a higher perspective, not from a lower vibration. <laughs> Because sometimes, you know, when we're in it and we're thinking too much about things, it can really pull us down. So it's like clearing that mind and being able to to um, get that information from a different perspective. And that will come with time is what they're talking about. So this one is five of fire. Five of fire. Competing goals, bothersome details, and any kind of conflict um, going on, conflict with others, plus it can be conflict of self, what's going on. I'm feeling a lot. They're making me very aware of my ears right now. Um, hear something. Let me sit with this for a moment because it's like they're trying to tell me something else. Yeah, I feel a lot going on at once. <laughs> a lot going on at once. Like I feel like which direction, where do I go? What do I, what do I handle first? How do I, that's how I'm feeling right now. So this one is five of earth. So those are two five cards. So positive change. So any kind of fears, maybe fears surrounding any kind of finances, wisdom to accept help from others, and anything that's like uncertain. Is there like uncertain, some kind of uncertainty? Um, hold on. Yes, yes. Yeah, like what is your heart telling you? What is your heart telling you and not this? Not anyone else's projections, not anyone else's you know how you can have, like, you can be doing something that's like, oh, I have my mom in the back of my head saying this or, you know, something like that. And it's not about anybody else. This is about you. Okay, so king of water. <sighs> Open your heart and mind. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice.
There's something with a picture on the card. I'm very drawn to the dolphin for some reason, um, but I'm very drawn to the pictures of the card because right now I'm getting serenity, serenity with water. All right, they're not telling me anything else with this one. So let me move on to this and then I'll sit for a moment and ask more stuff. So again, strengths. This is one that Jordana had as well. So Archangel Ariel, strengths. So great inner strength, releasing judgments, forgiveness and compassion. And I see doves. I'm very drawn to the doves in this card for you. Can you see them? I don't know if it's too blurry, um, but there are two doves that are in here as well. And that is peace, a feeling of calm. And let me just sit for a moment because they have other messages they want to bring through for you as well. Okay, so inner peace comes from within. It does not come from anything else. It does not come from your outside circumstances. It's something that you create from inside. Trust that you know. Trust not that you know, but trust that you know. So psychic gifts also come, a lot of times it's like we can be very third eye and see things. You have a unique way of seeing and looking at things that other people do not. Um, and then hearing something about how you hear things. You can, um, you know, how, how someone says something and, and you know it's different. They can say one thing, but it means another. You hear things differently is what they're talking about as well. But they're really asking you to trust yourself. Um, something about, I get a yes. So something about health as well. Um, and they're saying to, to trust yourself. You know, when you have like a nagging feeling about something, that's what, that's what I feel. Does that make sense? I feel like there's like a nagging feeling, something that sits in the back of your mind. So I'm going to leave it at that because I'm Kristen. Okay. It does. It said I'm so absolutely it all does. Yeah. So good. Good. So I'm Kristen. So just to let you know where my mental state is, because where my ego is right here. Hi, Kristen, while I'm channeling spirit. So I'm trying to get more for you, more for you. And they're like, remember, this is live. It's private. So they're saying pull back. So I'm glad that that makes sense. I hope that that helps. And thank you for asking. And I, I hope that that helps. Much love to you. So um, let me sit for a moment. series guides. And then I want to pull for my sister, Lisa. So you'll shut up. <laughs> she says lovingly. <laughs> I'm teasing. It's what we do. Okay. Sherry. Sherry, Sherry, Sherry. They made me feel like I have a corset on. Mommy, she's being mean to me. <laughs> I feel like I have a corset on because um, they gave me like a pain over here. I feel <laughs> I can't catch my breath. I feel, um, can you bring that word to me? Constricted. Thank you. If you ever don't know something, ask your guides to bring it to you. Because that's what I just did. I couldn't find the words. Ask your guides to bring it to you. Ask your guides to help you remember. Ask your guides to ask your guides. Ask, ask, ask. Um, okay. So I'm going to pull a couple of angel cards. But there's a woo-woo card you need to. Hmm. 
Mary Magdalene, Sherry. Mary Magdalene. Yeah, she's one of my guides. I feel very solar plexus for you right now. So for those that don't know the solar plexus, um, that it goes Roy G. Biv, starting with the root chakra, red, orange, yellow, that yellow. Um, but I feel very solar plexus -y for you. So that's your fire, your inner flame um, as well. Let me close my eyes. Remember, no one is in charge of that flame but you. That is yours and yours alone. No one else can pour water on it. They don't have that strength. It might seem like it sometimes, but when you own your sovereignty, your power, your inner God that you are, nothing can take that from you. And in that, see the compassion for the one that appears to be wanting to snuff that out. It's because it's a cry out for help is what they're saying, if that makes sense. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> but I feel it from the back too. Like my back is aching now. So it feels like things from the past trying to stifle that out might be coming up with other things now. Um, but I feel it coming through the front and they're saying, allow this to empower you. Ask your body what it wants, what it needs to recharge and regenerate. And then ask your higher self for intuition and guidance. Because now I'm feeling right in the heart chakra. This is definitely a solar plexus and a higher heart chakra opening and activation for you. Because I feel it's like, I feel like um, it, my chest hurts right now. Hold on. Is it my, it is not mine. So this is definitely something that's coming out for you. Heartache or, you know, something like that as well. But I feel, um like heartburn and, and achiness right here now. Okay, I give it back. I don't need it. Okay. Jerry, this is your higher heart. Your higher heart is expanding. Okay. That's a big up leveling. So I've said this before, but there's something called, I won't say it on here, but <laughs> so when you're feeling cruddy, there's something good that comes from it. So this is a big leap. And this is where we can say, this is that moment where our ego can be totally suck us and pull us down, or we can rise above that. And it is your choice. There's no good or bad. There's no failing a test. So don't feel down on yourself by any means in any way. So I pulled this strength card again. Notice the trend after all of these cards. Okay. There was another question I was asking. So they're talking about inner turmoil. Um, so you bringing yourself down, but also someone, people in your environment, and it's just like, see, I'm not, not worthy and all that kind of stuff. Rise above that. Come from here. Come from here. Like a phoenix rising from the ashes is what they're saying. So if you see phoenixes. What's the plural of Phoenix? Is it Phoenix I? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, the I have been feeling ponder. really snuffed and <laughs> oh. really fighting to rock, come above that, you know? Okay. So because eight of, of air. the hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Well, eight of air and eight is that infinity symbol for you too. That symbol of God, that infinity symbol. Um, they're showing me the, the symbol of the fish too. That fish symbol, that means something specifically for you. It's oh, no, Christian illusion symbol. being trapped. What? It's a Christian symbol. Okay. The fish. So an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action, trusting the self. So, okay. 
I think you're, you're saying in my just head. read it again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am in your head. <laughs> come in my head. It's more fun. <laughs> I tell my dad, come play in my head. So the guys want me to say it again. And illusion of being trapped. You are not actually trapped. It's the illusion of that. Oh, so crank yeah. up that music and be free. <laughs> and even if the mantra is, I love that I rise like the phoenix. I like that. A lack of self-confidence, but they're saying, but look back a month ago, look back six months ago, look back a year ago, five years ago. Wow, look at how far Sherry has come. So rejoice in that. You're not going down, you're rising up. And it's more lessons that are coming to you and it's helping you expand more. That's why I feel these energies in the heart, higher heart, solar plexus area as well. And then again, the strength card, Archangel Ariel. Great inner strength, release harsh judgments, forgiveness and compassion. But this feels more directed towards yourself. Okay. It feels more directed towards yourself. It feels like yes towards others, one or two specific, but um, individuals. But it's also the stories that you tell yourself as well. It doesn't need to be the same story, especially with a certain individual. It doesn't need to be the same story. I love that we rise from the ashes. I love that life gets better and better and we have a deeper connection. I love that there's so much love and respect more and more each and every day. I need to do so, that more. Yeah. Let me Thank pull you. a woo-woo. You're okay. welcome. Okay. I need a woo-woo card in here. I've been doing a lot of angel cards and I love them and I'm grateful for them, but let's woo. Let's <laughs> woo. You know, I like to woo. <laughs> Let's woo. How do we want to woo woo for you? Okay, so I'm going to use my Gateway of Light activation deck. Okay. Now I feel like those burping sensations. So release. <laughs> Shipper wants to come out. Yep. Ooh. Okay. Well, that's good to know because I feel like in some ways I've gone backwards, you know, allowing myself to be, you know, be affected more, you know, and, and yeah. Yeah. Well, remember you're a big feeler. You're a huge yeah. feeler. So own your clairsentience and on the spiritual journey, you take and this is how it totally feels and is you take a hundred to a thousand steps backwards mm -hmm. and then you light speed right forward about 2 million. Okay. So this feeling of being backwards, be in it. All right. I'm feeling all the feels. What does my body want to tell me? What does my emotion want to tell me? I'm feeling it because I rise from the ashes and I'm a Phoenix. So good things come from it if we allow it so and i know you yeah. do that but yeah. it's you feel pulled back but that's you know what they're showing me oh what is it called what is that called this is charades everybody we're playing charades rubber band um they used to do it when you're Slingshot. like a long thank you slingshot who said that you win <laughs> gold star for you <laughs> thank you kit kat um a slingshot you have to go backwards to catapult forwards okay i've never gotten no. a slingshot before <laughs> <laughs> that's cool but they showed me like the little rascals doing it that's what they showed me <laughs> all right and this one is for you i was just gonna pull one but that's not how i go <laughs> okay this is why i love i love this stuff so much i love to i love it when the guides bring things forward first and then the cards validate higher heart activation right there baby wow. 
How many are in this deck? Give it to me. Like seven, no, 44 it. card deck. Oh, Fireheart. Wow. Fireheart activation. Look at the gorgeousness in that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dropping shields. Divine love. Your heart is healed. So let's look further into higher heart activation. 88. Eight. That eight. Yeah. That infinity symbol. The infinite. Oh, wow. All right. And I just hit the 7-7 seven, seven card because I've been seeing so many sevens because of the gateway. Okay. The higher heart chakra is the most ascended form of the heart chakra. It's found in the center of the chest in the heart region and is seen clairvoyantly as a pink color. That's where you get like the pink heart, uh, pink and red. The reason that this energy center is pink is because it's the opposite complementary of green, which is red, with the white light of spirit. Through the stargate of the heart, we have the potential to connect with divine love, the love that exists in all things and experience the heaven within. This card transports us to the higher heart space where we can recognize that love is not an external essence, but a light we hold within. It has been there through every lifetime. When the higher heart becomes active, it's the recognition that the search for love has ended and the excavation of the heart has fully begun. Your message. You have experienced much fear, separation, heartache in your lifetime. This has encouraged you to close off and shield yourself from possible hurt. For a long time, you've been trying to open yourself back up, but have been concerned about being far too vulnerable. This card shows you have realized that love isn't something you have to work for or search for, but your divine inheritance. You have also recognized that this energy isn't something that comes through relationships or external experiences, but is your natural state of being. The more you close off, the more you close off from your true self. The more you drop your shields, the more love is revealed. The more you express the love you are, the more it is reflected back to you. Love is your truth. Can you wow. please bring back for me what you just said? Amen. You create your own joy. You create your own love. It all starts in here and then is a reflection outside. That's what they're talking about. And the next one is inner earth. So the base chakra, the root chakra. Base chakra, strength and security and laying the foundation. Nope, they want, I was not going to look in the deck, but they want me to look in the deck. So inner earth. Okay, 97. So the base chakra, also known as the root chakra, is found at the base of the spine and is the energy center that governs our connection to the physical world and all of its lessons. This chakra is so important. You connect to um, your earth star chakra to really strengthen and you can just see that root chakra mm -hmm. root into the earth star. And then the Gaia gateway is like the next level of up leveling towards Mother Gaia as well. And that feels very much of a connection for you, Sherry. So this card transports us to the energetic gateway that connects us to this planet and everything that we have learned during our many lifetimes here. We are being given a powerful opportunity to root down and claim our right to be on this planet, but claim the right to be you. In all of your weirdness and quirks and all your loveliness, be you. So claim that truth and that we are ultimately safe. In the image, there is a gateway below a giant tree. This realm is called the underworld. This is the spiritual realm visited by shamans, journeying to collect energies, meet guardian beings, and reclaim parts of their power or the power of others that have been left behind. Know that if you are searching for parts of yourself, you have the opportunity to find them and build stable foundations. You have the right to feel grounded, safe, and secure. You have a shaman coming forward or that has been forward. Yeah, it comes and goes, yes. Okay, so this is very much coming <laughs> and really being able to root, help you sturdy that root because we can't fly off like a balloon. 
you have to have that grounded root right there in order to to be balanced because we always see a scale like this i always say in class but the scale is like this you know the connection with source and connection with gaia the divine masculine and feminine have to be balanced so really it, when you feel more up here, especially when you're feeling more in the chest and everything else, call in that shaman. You don't have to know a name yet, anything. Just call in the shaman and ask for guidance and help and allow that to come forward because you get it. Okay. I will okay. tell you something funny, not funny. Yeah. But I have been having chest pains this week that didn't feel like, like a heart problem, but mm -hmm. just were weird. You know, and I kept telling Rick, my heart feels weird. And if, if it's, you know, the higher heart, if it's activating, I wondered if that could be what it was because it, it just felt strange. Yeah. Isn't it crazy? Cause you are such a feeler. So you knew it, you knew what was happening, but of course it could be scary in the moment. Like I'm having chest pains and all that kind of stuff. That's why they kept bringing me to that and talking about the higher heart activation so there's your validation you were 100 on point with what you're feeling okay. and that expansion there so thank you so much you have no idea how i needed all that thank you <laughs> good you're welcome lisa ann mullerippy are you still on are you bored did i lose you are you here lisa say hey is she here? Yes, I yeah. see you on. Okay. I see her. Lisa's iPhone. Okay. So stop taking Kaylana. Okay, good. I was going to say, stop playing with the dogs and pay attention to me. Oop, one fell out. Oh, hold on. They're just reminding me. Your mom texted me and said, now I have Charmin. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> That's why if you listen to me when I was reading that card, I hesitated. So just to tell everyone the inside joke, my mom said, um, I said to my mom, you have a shaman that's forward. And I was validating things for her. And she goes, oh, I still can't believe that shaman. And I said, mom, shaman is a toilet paper brand. It's a shaman that came through. <laughs> so now I tease her that, you know, she has a clean hiney and spiritual <laughs> guidance coming forward because her charmin is forward so and she's like don't share it trust me i have done so many goofy crazy silly things that i call stupid in my life and it is just lean into that that stuff is fun and it makes other people laugh as well so that will whenever i say the word charmin right now or shaman, shaman i think charmin and it makes me giggle this one so hold on, because they're just reminding me of something again. It is really interesting because I love doing this because it helps me learn more about me. I feel my human family when I connect differently than when I connect to others. So if you're doing readings and stuff, notice the energetic shift because I feel a different energy, but like really in the heart chakra. Like I really like, hey, because her guides are my guides too, you know, like all that kind of stuff. Oh, what is a song? Oh, can you give me that song? So give me the song. Hold on. It might take me a hot minute. Oh, please give it to me. It is a childhood song. Let me continue to, because this is going to drive me nuts. Lisa, if it pops up, I'll let you know. Is it something about a mountain? No. It has clapping in it. Something with frogs? No. <laughs> It has what in it? Clapping. The fox? It's happy and you know it. Clap your hands. Nope. All right. I need to let it go. 
and then it will it'll come back at 1 a.m i'll call you at 1 a.m in the morning lisa Yeah, it completely flew away. <laughs> the one thing that they're saying is, yes, you're right. Why do you doubt yourself? like doing decisions and then backing, wanting to back away from it. Trust your gut. Your gut isn't up here. This is your head, your ego that tells you. So trust your gut. <laughs> You're a gut truster. Cause we have, there's like a head, heart and gut technique. And the, when you bring a situation into your heart chakra, that's your divineness and that's where you get that true loving guidance and advice the head for me is always what the ego is saying and then the gut is like that gut instinct like i knew in my gut when i would be at work my car is not going to start i could feel it in my gut something's wrong with my car and my husband's like the car is fine the car is fine and i would go to leave work and the car wouldn't start trust your gut so lisa you're a gut truster <laughs> That's where it comes from you. That's why digestive issues and stuff like that, if um, one worried and everything, because that's your gut. Hello, Lisa Ceiling Fan. <laughs> Can you hear me? I'm a very big ceiling fan. Yeah. Can you Where's hear me? May? Yeah. I hear you. I hear you. I'm pulling a couple more cards for you, but I'm very annoyed because I want to get that song back. <laughs> So let me just sit for a moment to pull cards because I got to get out of me, get out of me head. So is this my full reading? No. Thank you. <laughs> your full reading. I got a lot of issues, you know. <laughs> Can open worms everywhere. <laughs> All right. You're not sick yeah. yet, are you? We'll do, we'll do some surface, some surface help. She wants okay. to know if you're still feeling like it. Health what? Wise. I think she's sick? wanting to know if you're health-wise feeling like doing this. No. no. I'm kidding. Yes, I do. <laughs> Don't do it if I'm making you sick. I usually do. No. See, when I first, just to give people background, when I first pulled cards for my sister, I actually felt dizzy and my head was spinning because I didn't understand how to not allow someone else's emotions and stuff control me. So now I'm very grounded, very protected by my guides and I receive impressions of, and I don't get um, pulled in those different directions. That is the, when you are clear sentient and you're very much a feeler, you can be pulled in different directions. That's why it's so hard when we're in crowds. Yes, you get, you feel everyone's stuff and it can be, feel very overwhelming, get very anxious, or maybe you're down, you were in a great mood and then you're in a poopy mood. Um, it's not you, that's where you take back your center. You can picture like a, a bubble of light that's around you, your guides around you, mirrors around you facing out where the energy is just, you know, popping off and going backwards. But you are in control of you, not everybody else's emotions. You can get impressions of, and that flew out the deck. Let me pull one more, yes, okay. Okay. I feel very gutty right now. Like um achy in my stomach. Oh, and I know why now, Lisa. <laughs> okay. <coughs> <coughs> Are you clearing your throat a lot or something? Because they made me just choke on air. I didn't bring I my chapstick. 
swallowing a lot. Okay, that makes sense because it's in the throat. So I just feel like I feel throat stuff. Okay, let me put swallowing these. Swallowing a lot and heavy chest. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let me ask. <laughs> I just asked, should I pull more cards? No, <laughs> that is very, so all of these cards are for, okay. Yes, thank you. Okay, so this one is 16, Life Experiences, Archangel Camuel. You, um, Archangel Michael is very forward for you too, Lisa. So, you know, I don't know if you know someone named Michael or the name Michael comes up or something like that, but that's just to let you know that Archangel Michael is very much with you and you can see him in the color blue. Um, um, my good friend from high school is Michael. Oh, okay. Um, so life experience. Significant He's the one that has brain cancer. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, I know who that is. Um, significant life event, powerful revelation that leads to change, time to spread your wings. So it's like, okay, let me close my eyes for a moment. So remember she's my sister and it can be very hard to read family. So I have to detach myself. My husband's Batman, no, okay. Bring it back. I'm going to have to get off about 15 or 10 till can someone else take over the chat? Um, that, okay, that thank you, okay. Trista. Thanks, Trista. Okay, so I feel you spreading your wings and you'll get excited about something, but you second guess. So I feel like, yay, no, yay, no. <laughs> So they're, they're showing it to me like really funny. And the way they're showing it is like, is it Lucille Ball? Who is it? There's someone, it's like, no, no, it's Pretty Woman. Do you like that movie, Pretty Woman? It's Pretty Woman where he opens up the jewelry case and goes like that. And she goes, oh, that, that's like how they're showing it to me. Oh, so very pretty woman. Yeah. I love pretty women. So, <laughs> so um, that's how they're showing it to me. Like you, you're like, you spread your wings and then you second guess yourself and, and then you spread your wings and you're like, see, I don't deserve that. So it's understand that patterns in your life and people that you may not be able to forgive. Those are your lessons to be able to overcome, but also their lessons. Remember meeting someone else where they're at. It's not because of you. It's not because of you that this person did this to you. Um, it's, a lot of times we have to forgive and let go without receiving the I'm sorry. I should not have done this. I was wrong. Um, and it feels like you did not get that in your life. And I feel emotion coming with this. And they're saying that was something that, again, you asked to experience in this lifetime. And you're you're really trying to overcome it. So it's like the yay, no, yay, no type of feeling coming forward. So let me move to the next card. So this one is Ace of Air, unicorn. Ray's playing Harry Potter. Tell Michaela that Ray has a unicorn in his room of requirements. He showed me his unicorn last night. So brilliant new ideas and inspirations. TMI. What? TMI. <laughs> Let's keep it PG, girlfriend. So... <laughs> Brilliant new ideas and inspirations, seeing the truth of a situation and something feeling challenging, a challenging something going towards. Um, so, hold on. They're saying, look at the truth without fear because it's something that's there to help you. It, feel, it feels like trying to run away from the fear or the bad stuff. They're saying, don't run away from it. Go, go right through that. It's not a brick wall. It's dust. So um, that's, what they're, that's what they're saying. I'm going to leave that at that. So I this one no is queen. I have no idea what that is. 
What if I don't understand it? That's okay. Well, this isn't your only reading. I'll read for you later when it's not on a recording and being posted out there. Okay. That's okay that you I'll... don't understand it. Okay. So um, it's 1243 right now. So just remember that for going back to the recording. So if you go back to this to look at this, because sometimes what happens is when you're being given a reading, there's a lot being flung at you and you're trying to think of all these things and you can't. So just let it go and just observe and release expectations because sometimes we're okay. trying to force because we know this, these are the answers I need to get. But sometimes the answers that you need are over here and something different in order to help you with this. Does okay. that make sense? Okay. Yes. So don't worry about that. Okay. So this is Queen of Fire. Stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. And assert your independence and creativity. Remember, it's not about other people's opinions. It's what matters to you and what you want to do. And it's about owning it. This is what I want to do because I feel it in my heart. I feel it in my gut. And this is what I want to do. So don't underestimate yourself. And... Saying affirmations like, I love that I am more and more confident with each and every day. I love that I'm more and more confident with each and every day. I love that I'm able to do, do what I love each and every day. Those kind of things. Okay. Okay. And then this one is Ace of Earth. You know what I just saw in my head? What? I don't, I brush up, brush up. It's a new Atana. Yeah. Uh, Greece. <laughs> I was just talking about Greece last night to Michaela. Oh, okay. So that's validating evidence, just because they just showed it to me all of a sudden. <laughs> so just validating. I like to ask for validating evidence that I have no way of knowing, like not stuff you put on Facebook or anything like that. So they were just showing that. So that's fun. Okay. So back to the card. So Ace of Earth. I'm glad it wasn't a pinata. <laughs> I have nightmares about that pinata. So I'll give you a reading when I get my full pinata. Let me read this card and then I'll tell you guys the funny story that I I'm, I'm still releasing the trauma of that. So you're gonna like this card, Lisa. So Release any and all expectations on your journey. And when you have negative thoughts or thinking either negative things towards people or how they portray you, how you're portraying yourself, all these different things, remember that these are the stories that you've learned to say to yourself over and over again for as long as you've been alive. And you're working on changing that. So knowing that you deserve all the happiness, all the joy and abundance, and even saying, I love that I'm, you know, so abundant and joyful. I love that I'm living my heaven on earth more and more each and every day. So this is about the flow of abundance, a promising business venture, and important documents and contracts. So it feels oh. like something job related. So, hmm. um, I mean, I know you just moved well but this feels like um again they're saying release any and all expectations as to how something can come to you don't think that i have to go searching for a job in order for me to find my ideal job no it could be you happen to say to someone or you feel the nudge to post something and someone's like they message you privately and say you won't believe this i have this and i think you'd be perfect or whatever it might be but it feels i feel the inflow of abundance because when you realize your worthiness and that um, money isn't in this chamber only for certain people to get at. It is everywhere all the time. Look around you at the people that are, you know, buying a new car, bought a new house and going on these trips and all that. You see abundance all around you. When you see it around you, it is yours as well. Um, so the inflow of abundance, a promising business venture and important documents and contracts. Hmm. So. I, I have a couple of things in mind, so. Oh, okay. 
Well, I will give you a more in-depth reading that's not live and recorded later. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So, pinata story. Not later, though, because I have a concert to go to. What concert are you going to? Matchbox 20. That's so awesome, and I'm jealous. <laughs> I was supposed to be going to... Um, um, Oh my God, another concert. I can't think of the name. And um, I bought the wrong tickets. <laughs> Whoops. So um, <laughs> we're going to Matchbox 20 and, you know, I like them anyway. So it's yes, all good. I like them too. I can't think <laughs> of any of their songs, but I love Matchbox 20. I know that because I do have songs on my Spotify. So Pinata story. So I don't even know how old I was. We'll say I was like eight or nine or something. My best friend, and Sky lived next door. We were inseparable, always together. Um, and Lisa comes home and she's like, oh, I got a surprise for you. And it was a pinata. And I mean, we were beating the heck out of this pinata. And I mean, it was putting up a fight and it finally opened up and nothing came out because Lisa didn't know <laughs> you had to actually fill it. You buy it <laughs> empty and you have to fill it. So I'm like, we ran inside. I'm like, I just beat the heck out of this thing for nothing. So. <laughs> That's the pinata story. It is very traumatic. And thank you for letting me get it out. <laughs> so the pinata. The pinata lives forever. So I mean, man, it really, it took us forever to get that thing open. When it finally cracked open, we were like, <gasps> and then I we kept it. Yeah, I remember like Sky was shaking it or something. And she goes, Kristen, it's empty. I'm like, no, it's not. Pinatas are full of candy. So um, nope. So we run inside and we're like, <laughs> what it was funny <laughs> i remember that day like it was yesterday me too <laughs> you're welcome me too there are a couple of days i remember <laughs> like yeah really how's strong. your heart feeling now what how's your heart feeling now yeah <laughs> a little palpitating <laughs> a little achy <laughs> All right, everyone, I hope that you enjoyed this, that it helped you in some way, that the guides had messages for you. Thank you for being around for um, the messages and for those that I did pull cards with, because I've always learned, like, whenever someone says, I want you to do, you know, pull cards for me. If I do a live, like when I'm on Enchanted Card Reading for Sherry, um, and I um, do want to have you at, you know, if there's any couple questions in there too, just to check in, Trista. But um, when I do card readings, I try to pull quickly, but this was just woo woo hangout. And this is hanging out and relaxing and allowing me to get back into my jive again. And my jive is pulling cards and doing my woo woo stuff and not rushing through it. So thank you for letting me get into my jive. <laughs> um, are there any like couple of questions that are out there, Trista? No, oh, you're muted. I didn't see any. So I mean, okay. someone else then. Okay, I didn't that's okay. Oh, you're welcome, Trista. Thank you guys so much for being on with me today. I think I want to do more woo-woo hangouts. I always call them a night with spirit, but I think I'm going to call them woo-woo hangout because <laughs> it's just Thank more fun. Thank you, Christy. You're Thank you. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you Love so you. much. Love you. You later, Mama. I'll, do, <laughs> I'll do another one soon and I'll post it so you know way further in advance. This was just like a last minute. And I'm like, you know what? Let's I'll have it open for everybody. So I thank you so very much. Jordana, you're still with me. Hey. <laughs> so I'm so excited. So I'm going to stop the recording now. I thank you all so much. If anyone is interested in contacting me, you can go to www.infinite heartandsoul.com um, to email me or get in touch and I thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to see everybody. <laughs> nice to see everybody too. And this is me on my phone now trying to figure out how to end the call <laughs> because I'm on my phone. So ending meeting for all. Thank you so much for being here. Have a great one. Bye-bye.